Hi everyone, Mark here from Couchbase. Um, today we'll be taking a look at Couchbase Mobile. That's the mobile database platform that includes a cloud database, an embedded database, and automatic data synchronization. Um, Simple Data Sync is a reference application and it's built to showcase uh, Couchbase Mobile's ability to embed data processing directly into an application and to synchronize data from the cloud to the edge, as well as uh, directly between devices, even without an internet connection. So it's a really fun and powerful demo. Be sure to get it here on the uh, Apple App Store. Install it on uh, two or more devices and start syncing data immediately. It really couldn't be easier. And the demo architecture is straightforward. Um, I have the app running on two devices. One is my iPhone. And another is an iPhone simulator running an Xcode. And the app has Couchbase Lite embedded. Um, and it syncs data between two local devices using peer-to-peer -peer synchronization. And I also have the app uh, on my own phone syncing with Couchbase Capella, um, which is our database as a service in the cloud that also has app services, uh, Capella app services, which handles synchronization through the cloud. And this means that any other remote user can also sync with my device uh, via app services. So now let's transition to the live demonstration. All right, so we're currently looking at my iPhone mirrored on the screen, and I'm currently focused on the color sync feature of the Simple Sync demo app. And each displayed color within the application is controlled by a data value um, in Couchbase running within the application. So with this feature, I can change the color of the dot simply by tapping it here, moving through a series of colors. So I also have the app running on my uh, Xcode iPhone simulator. So let's bring that up. And um, this can sync directly with the app running on my iPhone. So we built this to work with zero friction. There's no complex configurations. Uh, no trying to pair devices manually. The sync just works with any other devices running the app. So when I tap my iPhone to sync, uh, the sync uh, uh, is synchronizing that color over to the simulator. And conversely, uh, when I tap on the simulator here, I'm synchronizing back the other direction. So this is demonstrating the ability to sync via peer-to-peer. -peer. So we're not going through any central cloud control point. We're not using the internet even in this case to synchronize the color between these two devices. Um, and peer-to-peer -peer sync is used for apps where uh, workers might need to collaborate and synchronize data in complete isolation, uh, such as a flight crew on an airliner flight or uh, drilling operators on an oil platform uh, or restaurants where orders can be synced from wait staff to the kitchen to the servers here in real time. So let's look at another aspect of the application. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up uh, the settings on my phone here. And uh, I've set up an app services endpoint in Capella for the Simple Sync app in advance. And I only need to add my URL, username and password. Any, I give this to anybody and I think we can begin syncing through Capella with other clients connected to the endpoint. So in fact, as we go back, um, my co uh, colleague, Matt, has the app and is also connected to the app endpoint. So let's bring up Matt here on Zoom. Hi, Matt, wave to everybody. So Matt also has that, uh, that application and he's sitting across the state. He's not even anywhere near me, but going through app services, when he taps the uh, color, it synchronizes through app services back with my phone. And what's going on here is actually actually even a little more sophisticated than simply synchronizing through app services. Um, we're demonstrating here a complex sync topology powered by Couchbase, where the devices are both online and offline. They're syncing uh, data across the app ecosystem. So when uh, Matt synchronizes from his end, it goes through app services to my phone that's connected to app services. But my um, simulator is not connected to app services. So when it changes, it's actually changing based on what Matt's doing, coming through to my phone and then syncing via peer-to-peer. -peer. So really, really uh, amazing uh, synchronization that's happening here in real time. So next, let's bring up Capella on screen. And we're going to sort of close the loop here. 
I'll bring up Couchbase Capella. Here we see those app endpoints that we're actually synchronizing through. Um, at the end of this video, I'll show you where you can actually learn how to set these up for yourself to work with the, uh, the demonstration exactly as we are doing. But what I'll do is also hop over here to the actual database. This is where um, we're actually seeing these values come into a document. So you can sort of see my simulator and my phone behind the scenes. And here on uh, Capella, we have the document. There's the data value for the currently displayed color. But I'm going to change that color here to uh, couch base red. So when we change it, you probably noticed behind uh, the uh, browser view here, um, we were able to, in fact, uh, change that from the cloud down to uh, my device, which then synchronized with its peer-to-peer -peer device. And uh, it also synchronized, I'm sure, over with Matt. In fact, Matt, did it synchronize over to you? There we have it. So now we've gone completely from the cloud uh, to my uh, synchronized devices and then uh, from the cloud over to uh, Matt's device as well. So why did we use color to demonstrate the power of synchronization? Because it's easy to demonstrate quickly. And if you can sync a color, you can sync anything. Be sure to download the app and uh, check out all of the features, uh, including photo sync, count sync, and full text search. And uh, developers can get the Simple Sync demo app source code here on GitHub. Just follow the QR code. And for a deep dive code review, we've also produced a four-part video series that walks through the app code in detail to show how it was built using Couchbase Mobile. So be sure to get the source code on GitHub and watch that code review series, both linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.